All right, guys, this is Don John, and I'm here with BK's house to talk about something he doesn't really care about. <laughs> uh, let's see, what could that be? Uh, there's a list here. There's uh, a list of things. Lines. No, uh, it's, this, is, uh, this is one, and it, it's near and dear to my heart. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I've got all kinds of baseball memorabilia. I've got uh, Yankee Stadium ice cream helmet, Phillies ice cream helmet, I got an Orioles flag. I've got Dodger stuff everywhere because I'm a big Dodgers fan. Dodgers hats. Yeah, Dodgers. so we're talking about merch, right? We're talking we're about, about merch. merch. No, uh, <laughs> talk about baseball. And uh, I'm heartbroken, man, because okay. I don't feel like anyone in baseball has a clue of what's going mm. on in the world. And so right. if you would, if you'll bring up that link that I sent you just a minute ago. Okay. All right. All right. Here's Who's, who's this Carl? Carl oh. Ravit, Ravitch is an ESPN baseball analyst, and here's what he says. Major League Baseball has proposed to players 75% prorated salary, 76-game um, okay. season, a playoff pool money, no draft pick compensation for player signing, yada, yada. It ends uh, Season finishes September 27th. Postseason ends at the end of October. Significant move towards players' demands and effort to play more. All right. So let me give you a little timeline. A couple weeks ago, okay. MLB proposed a sliding scale salary to um, to players. If you want, you can go ahead and take that down because we can okay. talk about this. Um, sliding scale is in like based on games played or? Uh, yeah, well, no, no. So basically here's what was going to happen. If you were a minimum, if you were a minimum contract salary guy, your salary changed just a little bit, okay? Right. If you were one of the top or echelon players, meaning you're making over $30 million, your salary was going to be cut by about 80%. Okay. And you were going to be playing half the games. So think right. about it. Half games, half salary would make sense. Right. Um, understanding that no one's going to be in the stands – but you're going to have a bigger TV market. There should be some form of, of give and take there. All right. Right. So I found myself defending these guy, these guys who make $30 million, right. whose salaries are going to be cut down to 80%. Um, right. And so let's say uh, they're still making millions of dollars. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, and then these guys who aren't making as much, they're still making close to – and I found myself right. – Saying to them, but if it were any other profession and someone was asking you to take an 80% pay cut, wouldn't you be upset? I found myself defending that. All right. Right. Go forward a couple of days and the players uh, bounce back. Okay. So in the go, there were no go negotiations. The players right. ignored the owner's uh, proposal. Okay. Flat out said, this is dumb. Right. I'm ignoring it. Forget it. All right. Players respond. Theirs is almost just as I mean, they want prorated salary. They want I mean, it's it's as bad the other direction. And so right. I'm sitting there thinking, we're not gonna have baseball. And now we get to this Carl Ravage tweet, which is that now they're talking about seventy five percent prorated play for seventy six games, I think it said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to to think that there may be baseball, but I don't get it. Major League right. Baseball plays 162 games in a season. 75 games is not half of those games. Why are we giving them 75% of their salary? Right. It's because they have them. Like, they can't. They have the ultimate bargaining chip. You know, if, if the players won't play, then they, they the, the league's over. I mean, you can't. Yeah. But if people were to think about what their what this discussion is, yeah. If you, if you think about first the strike that almost killed baseball, Right. Then you had the home run race, which brought it back, only to be tainted right. by the steroid scandals. Yep. And now well, we've got so salary so issues. Yeah. Baseball is basically shooting itself on the foot. Let's look at look at every other major sport. Right. They have a plan. Yeah, They're ready NBA, to go. NBA has a plan. It, it, it looks like it's going to be effective. Uh, I mean, people are excited, you know. People are excited uh, about basketball. I yeah, mean, and it shouldn't. I mean, you know, NBA is not – like it used to be like ratings wise, but it's about like to be that. because it's going to be the only thing on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And especially if it's only an eight game season. See, that's where I'm a little confused why baseball 
for me, 76 still seems like a lot. It seems like they're, I, I don't know. And the pay is of course skewed, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. 160 games anyway, but I, I, I just sit back and I think as a huge baseball fan, the people who are running baseball are killing the sport. We watched NASCAR at my house yesterday because it was live <laughs> and it was new. It's something and new. <laughs> my girls sat there and they were fascinated. Now we made it right. through probably probably about 70 laps of the yeah. however many that they were going to do. But my girls sat down and they watched it with me because it yeah. was it was fresh sports. And now right. baseball is killing itself over these salaries yep. and length of season. And players thinking that they're worth their full salary or nothing at all. And owners yeah. saying, well, we're not even going to give you 20%, excuse me, 20% of your salary. I don't know, man. Yeah. I Fo- would football's love it. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was say, not, not a baseball fan, but if you told me they had come up with some plan where it was like, hey, we're going to play like a 20 game season, like, and that's it. Every game matters or whatever. Or we're going to play everyone in our division like four times, like do a series with everyone in your division and have playoffs. I would be so into it because it would matter so much and every game would be so important. Okay, so that uh, makes me yeah. bring up the World Baseball Classic. Do you know anything about the World Baseball uh-uh. Classic? Okay, every three years in the world, it's my favorite thing in baseball. I like it more than the baseball season. Every uh-huh. three years, players who want to, some of them are, you know, too good, right. um, <laughs> they play for their home country in mm-hmm. a tournament in the United States. All right, so you, you have – the ne- Netherlands and Japan and all these all these countries that are represented not just by major league baseball players though a good portion of them are major league baseball players but also professionals from those countries they come together and they play a a world cup style uh tournament right i'd love yeah. to see that make yeah, each awesome. division they they yeah. do a round robin uh three game series you win yeah. the series you win you know move on forward i'd love to see something like that just yeah. give me baseball and yeah. stop all of this nonsense because right. i'm ready for baseball yeah well and yeah I, and i think the players have to be careful too like you're you know you don't want the sport to take a huge hit because what if there's no more like what i mean you know, it's not like it's guaranteed to last through economic problems. I mean, well, let, let me shift things here. And we got about two minutes to talk about this. But okay. all of our sports schedules are being affected. Right. No one is talking about how this is going to affect next season. Right. Because I'm sitting here thinking about basketball. And oh, if I know. Yeah. If they're going Crazy into, they're, they're basically moving this season into the beginning of the next season. Where's the off season for them? Yeah. And I, I, I worry about – I'm starting to begin to worry about what's going to happen next season for sports who are pushing their schedules back and right. trying to get as much of a season in. Why not call this one a wash, do a round-robin tournament in baseball, uh, finish up in October, even though this proposal says it finishes up in October. Um, but finish it up in October, give a long off season, and start fresh next year. Basketball. Don't just get it done and find a champion and get into an off season so that you're not going into your, because we're going to be having these discussions at the beginning of the 21 season too. If right. we don't, if we don't start thinking about things like that. Right. And they yeah. are, they're smarter than we oh. are anyway. Right. It's just getting everybody to agree on it. <laughs> so, but All right. I know you're not a baseball guy. I had no, to, it's but good though. I, 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 I need somebody else's opinion because yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it, it seems that they they seem like they're doing the worst of all the major oh, league sports. Easy, because not only <laughs> not only are they not getting a schedule together, then they're going to need like forever and a day to get wound up to play. Because if they don't, they're going to get blisters on their fingers, and the pitchers can't pitch. Or you know, if you sometime Google ridiculous baseball injuries, okay. and you'll see and right. you'll see why. They need right. two months to get ready for baseball. All I'll right. have to check that out. Uh, anything you working on these days? Uh, let's see. Conquering the world, building a giant Lego set in my closet that if I open the door, it'll fall on me, but trying to do it without having the door open, it's, it's difficult. Nah, well, and you, you're giving some money away. I saw That's that. That's right. That's right. That. Yeah, I've got a really cool video. There was a, 
a girl the other day who her, her friends wanted to go on a ghost tour. And I was like, oh, well, I won't go on a ghost tour ever for any amount of money. But I can buy you ghost tour tickets. Sweet. <laughs> so, Are they filming it? Uh, I hope so. She already sent me the first video of the, and I was like, okay, that's really cool. They're taking like a road trip. Oh, they, that's cool. It's like the three of them, and they're like going to sub like, and I was like, all right, cool, yeah. I mean, so I hope they send it to me. That'd be awesome. That that would that would be cool. At least put it on YouTube <laughs> yeah. where you can link to it, right? Oh yeah, for all sure. right. I'm 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 getting ready to work on a set of uh, educational uh, technology post. Um, some things that I use in my classroom to gamify my classroom. Those will be coming out over the next little bit. And uh, other than that, there might be a little vacations coming up. So mm. anyway, there you go. Hey, thanks for joining me. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Subscribe.